is grateful <clears throat> and feel pure happiness. Sometimes people use this word very lightly. It's pure happiness. I'm motivated. A lot of emotions, you know, a lot of work behind getting back in the national team. So, yeah, just happy to be here. Now. Pure happiness, I would say. Again, mix of emotions. Of course, when it happens, you feel sad, you feel upset because <clears throat> you let the country down, you let your club down. So that was the initial feeling. Then the fear of the surgery, a little bit of optimism in between, thinking you can, you know, just carry on for two, three months more and then, you know, play them important games because we were in a very crucial part with the national team at my club level. So I was trying to push again, you know, just keep going for another two, three months. But came to a moment, you know, where it just became too risky and I had to went to the knife. So that was that a feeling was there. And post-surgery, you know, the doubt, the anxiety, all that. And then you start walking, then you start jogging, then some motivation comes in. And again, the pain comes, the swelling comes, and again, doubt comes. It was full of fixed emotions, but all in all, the whole credit to my comeback. And I'm not just saying it for the sake of it, I'm being very honest. 90 to 95 percent is the people who were around me at that time. Starting from my teammates in the national team, Gigi George, at my club, Russell was there, the doctor who operated me, the coaching staff for the national team at the club, my family. You know, they all made it possible and they deserve all the credit, man. I just maybe did 5% of it. But I was, that's why I say I'm very grateful for the people around me and that's the beauty of humanity. You know, it's the people who make you. And yeah, man, that's, that's, that was it. And uh, I really never let it put me down and I won't lie there was moments of extreme anxiety fear doubt but you know this is still easy man you know, compared to what the pressure a person has if you walk on the street you know what real pressure is so at least I was in a far more better place so people helped a lot and I just kept working and here we are You, you regret it, you know, there's no denying that. First feeling comes, you let everyone down. I've been with them boys like Uttri, Tamri and you know, the other players, you know, Manvi, you know, everyone, you know, playing together for many, many years. So you form that bond that in every battle and every game kind of going to go in together. And then when you're not there, you kind of feel you let your teammates down, you let the coaching staff down. Then it's just, that's football, man, you know. Well, I won't lie, after the June game, you know, I think I was on a balcony and I was alone and I think I was quiet for a few minutes and I just, that's football. I'll tell you what mental strength is, actually. Have you been to hospitals? I hope you never go there much, but go to hospitals. After this interview, go take a walk. Whoever is watching this also, just go around your town and walk on the streets. There you'll see what real pressure is, what people have to go through. Put food on the table, the mental strength, the hope in the hospital room. That's real mental strength. What I do, mostly all athletes, we have our own struggles, but I don't call this mental strength. This is part of job. If I cry about my situation, of course it's tough. I'm not taking it away. You know. It's tough, but putting food on the table every night if I don't work all day, I can't put food on the table in the night. That 
millions of people like that who live every day. And that's pressure, man. They have ACL, no ACL, leg is broken, they will come to work. They will do their work. That's mental strain. What I do is just part of my job. And you, like how Krishna said to Arjun, you know, your work is your religion. So I try to do it with full honesty, with passion. But that's that, you know, just focus on the job. But I just cannot fathom the idea that we or me have a strong mental strength. I'm just a random guy who's living his dream. Mental strength is the day-to-day -day life. First of all, it's good you highlighting the points, uh, the importance of at least people now are kind of understanding the importance of being at the Asian Cup regularly not only keeping the idea just we want to be at the world cup you know there's stage to your ultimate dream and i've said it before also and i'm repeating myself 10 years ago when we made our debut was the first year we knew that the ultimate goal the steps to it is being regular at the asian cup and we've done it in the last two asian cups being the first team or the first batch to go to consecutive asian cups so now that going the third one will another big step for us the atmosphere, of course, in the team is, is, is brilliant. And we all know the importance of these friendlies because from now till March, we don't play in, a, in a, any other international game. So we know we need to get a good result. But the whole point, because we have a new staff, we have a new coaching uh, staff, there's a new philosophy, there's a new system, there's a new style. And it takes time to implement. Again, it's not something which people kind of get bored to hear this word, takes time, takes time, but it actually takes time. Everything to develop takes time. If it develops very fast, it's not going to last long. So, one of the main objectives in this game will be, if you look at the last three, four games, we played three games, I think. Yeah. Each game we've improved as a team. So now, in this game, our target is to do one step more better many more steps but much better than the game against Vietnam where we gave a great account ourselves of ourselves so improvement or going in the right direction is one of the main objectives getting better as a team is one of the main objectives and then after this we'll go back to our clubs but then we'll get an idea from here now you know what we need to be prepared uh, prepare individually to be ready for selection and to help the team in the mass because them games are like the main ones so and that's the thing and make the country proud get the three points get the clean sheet put an honest performance and make the country proud